Thank goodness he didn't ask for a body wax. Please welcome <laughs> Leslie Grantham. <laughs> Did all your own stunts there, didn't you? Well, I walked across there as well. It's easy, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Did you actually go through that? Yeah. Okay. I just then. think there was probably a bit on it that I was a bit. Um, I think it was one shot of a brush too much, but. Uh, Is that? Yeah. Yeah. You did a lot of your stunts in this series, didn't you? Yeah, because I think the audience is so sophisticated now that they actually. You're joking. No. <laughs> Sometimes. Well, even even in even in Pebble Mill. But, um, <laughs> Uh, that they watch so many st um, programs about stunt making, stunt f you know, yeah. uh, men, that they know that when a guy gets on a motorbike and pulls down the, the visor, it's a stunt man. They know that when Claude Van Damme jumps out of a plane and, you know, or Patrick Swayze, that there's some guy doing it with a hidden thing underneath. Is there? Well, you know, and it's, I just like yeah. people to know that um, I just, as an actor, <laughs> I use that term very loosely, <laughs> um, it's not, you know, if you're in a cowboy, you don't sort of come out the saloon door and then someone else gets on the horse. No. So I, I'd, I'd rather do it as far as I can to, otherwise it's, acting's boring, you're just hanging around. And did you do that stunt with Sharon Deuce or did you use a body double? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no, only the one, I didn't do it double, I only did it once. <laughs> was that you? <laughs> it certainly was. Mm. But is that all you've got to say about it? No, I, 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 I can't work out how I kept my... I took my clothes off and she kept hers on. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gone wrong. You get up to a lot of that in this series, eh? Uh, basically, my character... I mean, a lot of the audience will identify with this, and a lot of women certainly will because of you know, their husbands and that, but my character... Whereas James Bond gets, uh, gets the, the woman and, and manages to make it last all night, I'm apologising after ten seconds. <laughs> Oops, there it goes again. Oh, sorry about that. Um, no, I, I actually don't know how m I'm the only man on television that suffers from premature ejaculation. Yes. <laughs> I expect I'm going to change this very bit. I bet your invitations to dinner have dropped off after that the other week. Did you see me eat that egg sandwich? Character building. I mean, yes, it's a that was dis. Gusted. 28 egg sandwiches I had to eat. <laughs> to Served that you right. right, that was revolting. And could I just say, remember the scene where you moved all those rocks? Yeah. Now, this is like women, people talk about, oh, stupid woman. Why you were the were, rocks so far away from the wagon? They had a wagon, like three, and they're also, uh, oh, was it to show your muscles or what? No. And it, because television is, you've got to, you obviously weren't following the plot. But I, my job, Sorry. I was employed to get rid of film, yeah. the character. And obviously, it should have been the suspense, which it wasn't because bits had got cut out because we shot too yeah. long. But in that period of time, you should have thought, is he going to do him as he picks up the rocks? So we, I think that lost a yeah. bit, and maybe that's in a bit of the editing. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for pointing but no, out. But no, I'm glad it. you did. Only one <laughs> other person did. You know, and they were blind. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. You've had great reviews, 99 to 1. 99 to 1, yes. Which means? Well, it's basically basically like, um, I suppose it's is it like the Good Morning Show, really. You're 99% bored and 1% excitement. <laughs> well, we'll have none of that on this programme, thank you, Leslie. Yeah. I must say, can I, can I, I think the audience will agree with me. Don't you think she's looking so much better? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, you think, do you think marriage is agreeable? I think marriage is agreeable. Get out of here. Obviously, yeah. you've stopped, you know, being out at yes, night, dodgy yes, places. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, what I will say yes. is, seriously, that, that it all gets explained in episode five when I'm swinging above the Thames on a chain, and um, this young lady says to me, why do you do the stupid things that you do? Yeah. And I say, well, when I was a policeman, it was 99% bored and 1% terror. I always preferred the 1%. So that's the title, oh, and right. hopefully it's 99% excitement, 1% boredom, which hopefully will be the commercial. It does, that's great review. It must be wonderful to do a series which has been created for you and have the backing of a huge organisation like Carlton behind you. True. I mean, a, a great thing for your ego, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice. I mean, uh, it's not in the fact that I think they did want Julian Clary, but they felt that um, <laughs> he was too butch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As masterly as your performances were as Colonel Mustard and Cluedo on several occasions that I've seen you, 
This character is obviously what we want to see you as, the tough guy. Uh, have you come to terms with that, or are you still keen to do light stuff? No, I mean, obviously when I settled, set, settled down at night to do my tapestry and my needlework, and, you know, run out, I do realise that I do have this, this bent, and I use that term very loosely because of Harry Fowler. Isn't it nice also to see Harry Fowler in colour? You know, every time you turn on the box, there's Lou Peter or one of those things, and yeah. Hugh and Cry, he's in black and white. And yeah. today, I've seen him for the first time in colour. I must say, it is a revelation. Good. <laughs> no, I, when I, no, I do realise that um, someone likened me to Clint Eastwood, you know. Um, is that, that was that Stevie Wonder character again? Yes. <laughs> uh, I think I'm more like, sort of, um, someone, uh, I think I would rather be England's answer to James Woods. James Wood. He was in, um, he's a famous, um, you know, Midnight Sting, famous American actor. Midnight El, Sting? El Salvador. El Salvador? El Salvador, El Salvador, the Oliver Stone movie. He's got good skin, pop mark skin. Yeah. See, obviously, you only watch Playbus. Mm, <laughs> Since you've been married, obviously, I'm, you're not watching telly at I'm all. I'm very sorry. <laughs> so good. What are you going on to next, then? Is there that another series in the can? Because well, I'm cutting this short. Go ahead and <laughs> um, actually, I'm a very busy man this weekend. I'm doing an episode of that show business. That's, oh, my yeah. career has obviously moved on. Yeah, yeah. Tremendously. <laughs> I might also be doing a bit of Noel's house party tomorrow night. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think they're looking for a replacement for Mr. Blobby. Yeah. Um, Mr. Booby. Yeah. Me. Um, Oh, if the viewing figures, which are around, oh, which I understand are very good, if we, um, if we keep them up, then there hopefully will be a second series. But who knows in this climate of television? What about your... You had a production company going, didn't you, with Don Henderson? No, we were just involved in things. No, no, yeah. no production. That's another um, fallacy. I right. use that word in its real yeah. sense. Um, um, no, Don and I... Have, I mean, very sad that Paradise Club ended, and I'm, I know that um, we have not really found out the reason why it did, mm. and everyone asked me what and Don, if it's coming back. Sadly, it's not, because the BBC... But you've got a cracker in 99 Cracker, to one. that's Robbie Coltrane. That's enough. You've got a corker, a corker. in 99 to one. Yes, it's great. Have. I enjoy it very much. I look forward to the second Thank you, Jan. Series. You're looking marvellous, Julie. <laughs> Leslie Cantor. <laughs> Thank you, lovely. Pauline Henry. Here she is with her single, Can't Take Your Love. Pauline Henry. <laughs> 